Hello everybody, so I just wanted to make a short video here about a product that I just bought. This is me and uh, here it is. It is the uh, shower head. It's this one in particular is branded like joyless shower head but I think you've seen something similar if you searched for if you found this video I guess you you've you have searched for something similar but that's not necessarily called joyless but I just wanted to show you how it works how this works let me let me see you. Yeah, so it came in this package. It says it's from China. And there's no real information about it. But I think it was called the joyless shower head. I should have uh, prepared my video here a little bit more I just when I saw it I just needed to make the video when I got the package I got the package just now just today it was crazy actually because they sent the package to in, into like they dropped the package inside or outside here on my door and I didn't even know that I didn't even know that they would do that. I thought that they would leave it at a rig, as they usually do, leave it at a postal center. But I'm going to show you how it works. Uh, I'm going to show you. One thing I gotta say, one thing I gotta say, that these, these shower heads are not that expensive. And I wonder, how can it not be expensive when they're so cool? Well, that's because if you feel this build quality, like this is smooth and all, sure, but like this is my old shower head. Uh, maybe I, I I don't know how to like this is a uh, this is plastic. Plastic, very, very plastic, like cheap plastic. This is cheap plastic. So the thing, the thing with this is, if you were to drop this thing into the ground, like I'm very scared that if I were to drop this thing into the ground right now, then it would probably break like it will probably crack so this is this is very it feels very flimsy even I feel like I could if I wanted to I could snap it right here it feels like I could so it, it, it's not very it's not very robust so to speak but but guys I'm happy to say I can happily I can say that it does work. It works. So I'm going to show you now how it works. So you can actually see that it does do what it does do in the commercials it does do that you know and you can't you can't be mad you can't be mad about that and you can even if you you wondered maybe what's this thing well this thing right here that's a that's basically another another um, how to speak it 
it's flow control basically. It's an on and off button or a valve. It's a valve actually. That's what it's called. The technical term. It's a valve. So if I push it from this side, we should reduce the water flow. But that means that pressure pressure is building up in here. And I am very skeptical about using this as an on and off. If you use this as an on and off, do it for short periods of time, I think. That's what I would say. Just because having a pressure pressurized hose like this is not a nice idea. So if you're going to use this, I think use it only during the shower and not... Uh, when you have finished showering yeah and uh, yeah you can turn it on just push it from that side and it's on again super nice it works so another thing in the commercial that uh, they showed was that the same flow would produce less uh, the same flow rate will produce a less uh, less good like less good flow or less 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 velocity let's say in the water stream from uh, from a regular shower head. So you see, this is what, this was my regular shower head here that I had before, and let's see if this shower head will have a significantly worse uh, velocity in, uh, in the water coming out of the shower head. Let's see. I'm going to not even change anything. I'm just going to change it like this. The shower head holds a lot of water too. Okay, let's put this in. And guys, uh, look at that. It's actually, it's actually true. It's actually true. Like, I can't even can show it over here look at the flow rate look look at the velocity I mean this the same amount of water the same amount of water that is that's incredible guys that's incredible so now like honestly I am in that that's that's incredible that's incredible. That's incredible. Okay, okay. That's like magic, honestly. That's like magic. Let me, let me change it back real quick. Holy shit. That's actually... Okay, top. Top notch, actually. Top notch. Well done, guys. Well done. Well done. Look at that. Look at that. Now I want I want to be totally clear with you. This is not more water. This is a higher velocity. A higher velocity stream, you could say. Coming out from the shower head. But it's, uh, th this is way better because now you can actually get some get some range and do some cleaning because if it's just trickling out like it did in the other one, that's not good. This is better. This is way better. Super nice. Wow, that's that's incredible. 
However, I must, I, I still, still guys, I must uh, emphasize that the build quality of this shower head is uh, clearly, it's clearly going to break if I drop it. If I drop it in the ground, I'm not going to do that to try it out. I want to, but I don't have money like that. So, it's, I think though, like the like I, I don't know how to describe it uh, how to show it to you in a good way but it's maybe you can see that kind of plastic you see that oh you see that you can see the kind of unfinished on the edge here on the edge here you can see that it's kind of it's been like hacked up by something and you can see the kind of I don't know if you if you see what I see see there kind of weird like plastic is kind of warped like even you see my face a little bit here, but it's kind of warped, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, uh, it's not that robust, robust. That's what I, I would say, I can say about that. It's not that robust, it's probably gonna break. If you drop it in the shower, which is something I have done before. I've dropped the shower head in the floor before. That's, that's not like impossible let's try it out on the higher flow see what happens okay so there we go there we go guys it 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 broke the shit it broke the shit okay wait 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 I, I haven't planned this guys guys this is like it's it's a hundred percent it's a hundred percent really guys I woke up like 10 minutes ago like <laughs> this is this is a hundred percent real honestly honestly <laughs> oh my god look at that look at that okay okay let, let us try let's try to fix this. Let's try to fix this, because I think we can fix this. Uh, okay, so we can see how it, how it works in here now. It's simply some green kind of plastic, I don't know, maybe recycled, who knows. And you can see the, also see, you can also see the amount of holes in this. So you can see how why it is so much more effective in creating a high velocity flow because you have less holes and you have uh, it might even be smaller holes here and I don't know if you see what I see but there is a hole that's blocked up there like right there that's a blocked hole and uh, this hole is blocked so i'm gonna solve that right now wait okay i'm back so i brought a little needle to try to unblock this hole i'm gonna try to see through the camera Let's even see what happens. I'm gonna push it through. The other side here. I think the little it's a little piece of dirt. It come out came out there. So that's the little piece of dirt that I took out of the hole 
right there. Hard to hold still. Anyways. You just take a cloth. Get that situated. Check again. Now we see that it looks clear. All holes look clear. Anyways, we have the green plastic. We have some silicone sprayed like this is supposed to be like a seal here, but it's a really like you can see it, it's not a good solution. Like you should have a solid seal. This is just a an applied silicone. Uh, what's the say? What do we call it? An applied silicone paste that they later then they screw they they probably applied this silicone paste and screwed on the shower heads okay uh so this is the shower head water comes out from here in here comes out from in there it has it comes out in the angle it seems like it's a it's a thing that angles the flow a little bit so it swirls around one direction then this propeller you can see how that's connected there not very robust as i said it's just plastic very very plastic everything this is not like everything it's like it always has a toy kind of toy quality to it everything has a toy quality to it but the thing is the thing is this you can't be mad because it cost it cost like nothing basically it didn't cost a lot okay so let me try and screw this on because I suspect that it was just not screwed on correctly or well enough okay let's not overdo it over torque it because I think that's gonna be a problem as well I don't know guys because look at this up here we have a gap down here no gap gap no gap gap oh, we do have a gap here but i think you understand what i'm saying that there is a different kind of gap here and i think it's because of the silicone inside okay run number two now if it doesn't work this time, you know what it is. You know what it is. Okay. Low flow is fine, but if we max the flow from the source, let's see what happens. I'm gonna hold hold on to the uh, to the head here so it doesn't crash to the floor because I think it would would uh, probably break. There we go. There we go, guys. Again, it couldn't handle it. It couldn't handle it. Couldn't handle it. You see that? So guys, just know that 
Just know that I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed with that. I'm disappointed. Another thing that I forgot to show you is that it has this middle part here that also comes comes off. This part here comes off. So we can untwist that. Which again is feeling very flimsy, but inside we have this thing. And I don't really understand the the purpose of it, but it's probably a filter. And as you know, maybe you do know, maybe you don't, is that filters clog up. Filters get old. So this might be a potential issue if you don't know what filter this is. Like, I don't know what part number filter this is. So yeah, that's another thing that's an issue. Might be, might be, we'll see. Especially if you got more dirty kind of water, like I am pretty sure that there is no filter in my old shower head. Like I can't put, put this apart. So yeah, it's clearly made for a different market. Let's see, can I twist it up here? No, that's not possible. Now let's try the shower head out in a real life scenario. I noticed one thing that was a big thing while using the shower head. That while the shower head uses a low flow rate or a low pressure to create a nice spread and the velocity of the water, the small amount of water it uses still is a small amount of water and it's noticeable in that it doesn't really get you wet uh, fast and uh, nice so it feels like you're standing kind of in heavy rain or something like that and it's it's not a real nice feeling but hey, it's economical also pretty much disappears after about 40 centimeters uh, down the line but hey guys just know that if you're gonna get that shower head okay it's, it might be cheap might be cheap okay but it's a cheap build quality also it works for flow rates that are low and I may be able to fix it up you might be able to fix it up like you, you saw that the breaking point there you might be able to do something about that but yeah you saw what it is you see what it is so thank you for watching the video on the weird shower head it was a joyless shower head it, it said for me but I think it's just a generic like it's just a rebrand of some shower head basically thank you see you